guys, it is uh, 9.30 at night right now, 9.35. I was busily cleaning my sewing room, which didn't go very well, as you can see. Anyway, I had this really good idea for something I want to start right now, and it's gonna get in the way of the actual next planned project, so I really hope this is a quick one. It's a Rapunzel-inspired princess core dress, so hopefully it'll take me a couple of days because I have other stuff to be doing this month. So I'm gonna see how far I can get started on it tonight, and uh, yeah, <laughs> see how that goes. I grabbed a purple sheet and Simplicity S8979, labeled the front pieces pink and purple, I've made this pattern before and it fits fairly well, so I skipped the mock-up. Plus, I was on a time crunch. I basted lavender organza on the bodice pieces and will trim it later. Maybe. I am a chaotic person, so I skipped the pins and I still haven't trimmed the organza yet. Last night I finished the bodice. I haven't ironed it yet, don't judge me. It was like 11.30 at night. I also have an Emmy today. I think I'm gonna start today with cutting out the circle skirts and have the hem bias stretch out enough and then I can trim it again. Uh, it has to sit for a couple days normally. We'll see how long I actually let it sit for, but definitely wanna let it stretch out for a bit. So I think I'm gonna start there. And then I'm gonna finish the bodice and the sleeves and at some point I'm gonna dig around and find my fake flowers. Although I have no idea where they went. That's gonna be a bit of an adventure. I had enough organza left to make two ruffled circle skirt layers. What princess core dress would be complete without gold details? Oh, and I still haven't trimmed the organza. Maybe I never did. Anyway, I stitched the bodice layers together at the neckline and understitched the lining so it doesn't peek out. To make the sleeves, I needed a pattern weight my phone is good at that, and it's always nearby. I freehanded an approximate sleeve shape. To make the sleeves puff, I rolled a thick double fold hem to act as a channel on the top and the bottom, and ran elastic through it. Easier said than done on the top part. I cut my ruffles 8 inches tall, but my ruler is only 6 inches, so I had to improvise. I grabbed my handy dandy finger slicer, just kidding, only fabric this time. I French seamed and then rolled hem the pieces. Good morning everyone, it's day three now. I did my hair super cute. I hope at least, I can't see the back. Today I'm going to attach the ruffles to the skirt and then the skirt to the bodice and then put the zipper in and it should be pretty much done after that. Although before I do any of that, I have to fix Judah's raincoat. Look at the ducky fabric! I ran a gathering stitch, aka the longest stitch length of my machine, on the raw side of the ruffle. Go get Patrick! I divided the ruffle into eights. Eventually. I divided the circle skirt in the same way. I then matched up the clips and gathered the ruffle to fit. Luckily my single thread didn't break. I stitched and top stitched to control some of the fraying. Basting the two organza and one lining layers of the skirt was starting to get a bit poofy. But I managed until the end. I pinned and sewed the bodice to the skirt, like standard dress practices, otherwise it would be a skirt and a top. I was pinning the zipper and uh, I lost my needle. It's in here somewhere. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I find to get the cleanest invisible zipper installation, I need to hand baste it in. That way it doesn't slip around under the foot. I hand stitched the lining in, very neatly if I do say so myself. I whip stitched the sleeve puff on by hand as well. Oh, okay. I finished the dress last night. It's uh, a little bit poofier than I was intending, but I kind of love it, so it's gonna stay. Well, 
What? Go get your toy. Go get your toy. How am I supposed to film like this? So yesterday I went out and So yesterday I went shopping and I bought Duh. The next step is ripping all the flowers off. Now for some deflowering of wreaths. I actually had way too many flowers left over, so I'm gonna have to think of something else to do with them. Maybe a matching hat. I laid out the flowers in a semi-random pattern to see how it was going to look. It has been an hour, and I have sewn on this much. My fingers hurt. Hand sewing montage! It took three days to hand sew just the skirt flowers on. I didn't use glue because I wanted the skirt to be light and floaty. I finished sewing the flowers in the skirt last night, and just so we're clear on how much sewing I actually did, the radius was 29 inches, which makes the circumference around 182 inches, which means I did 15 feet or 5 yards of sewing of flowers on by hand. Next is the rest of the bodice, uh, which will be much less sewing, and maybe I'll actually finish in one day this time. Sewing the bodice flowers was much faster, plus I had some help. Look who has decided to join us. Oh, hello Jealous Dog. Other Jealous Dog. Do you guys like my dress? I just want petting. I feel used. Sewing the last flower. Hooray! Yes? It's not time for that yet. It's done! I did actually finish it today, which was weird, because last time I said that it took three days. I know Rapunzel doesn't really like shoes, but you know, they're nude, they're sparkly, and they're beep toe, so. The only problem is that I'm planning on photographing this in the woods, and it's been raining, so. I just came running by and said that I look really nice, so. I mean, so far there's only one person at the park, which is good, because I'm really embarrassed right now. <laughs> well, another person ran by me, which is also pretty embarrassing, but it's fine, he was very nice. I'm going to the last spot now, and you'll see why it was the last uh, when we get there, because there's the highest probability of me slipping and falling in the water. Oh, there's mud. The purple dress is completely washable. I'm not so sure about the flowers, so I'm trying to keep them dry and not muddy. So I'm gonna go home after this and put the video together and then start the project I was actually supposed to be doing in September. Whoops. <laughs> Sometimes inspiration... But it rained a lot, a, like two inches yesterday. Sometimes inspiration just strikes and you gotta run with it, so... Yeah.
If you like watching whimsical videos like this, subscribe and like this video and see what I make next. Bye. Bye. There's a lot of stuff out here. I've scared up a bunch of chipmunks and squirrels and one snake. Probably a couple frogs too. Something fell out of the tree.